everybody and welcome back to another beautiful sunny day. It's actually finally nice. We've had cold weather so we're trying to enjoy it and also get some work done. So today we have to give the steers, which they're back here. Oh it's bright. They're back there and we have to give them a straw bale and a hay bale. So I'm gonna quickly get it ready over here to put where we're gonna put the hay bale. Get all of that prepared and then we'll get the straw bale next. So our steers back here, which we have three of them. One is mine and then the other two are my siblings and we each have a steer. Um, this is my, oh no, it's been like so many steers. I think my seventh steer and we hand raise them ourselves. And right now they're eating hay here. Uh, we give them about like eight pounds of hay all together. And then plus they get some, uh, like a barley mixture yet. So yeah, they're enjoying their food over there. And we're gonna get them a new bale cause that's all that's left of the old bale. So they definitely need a new bale now. One of the things these guys like to do is when it's cold, they dig their noses down into the hay to warm them up while they get food. I think that's just so smart, right bud? Yeah, this guy here closest to me, that guy, that's my steer and that's a giraffe. That's my sister's steer, Jeffrey. And this is my brother's steer, Joey. And they're all about uh, around a thousand pounds. Still have a ways to go. now but I don't think my dad really thought this out um he didn't leave me with a pocket knife and I I wasn't thinking of bringing one because I thought uh he would cut it or something but yeah now I gotta figure out how to get this twine off so I can unwrap it all so that I can fork feed some hay to the steers so should be interesting this way oh did he cut it never mind he cut it we're good Um, this is an old fork and um, it breaks sometimes and it's missing a finger. Yeah. So let's get this all untwined. Okay, now we got the straw bale, so gotta deal with that first and then we'll continue on the hay bale. Actually, this part's pretty easy because the steers usually kick it up themselves, so they'll spread it, we'll get the twine off. Works good. My dad over there was trying to get the ice away from the water because there was a huge pile and while he was doing that I finished getting all the twine off the straw bale. Yeah, a whole bunch of straw came with it so see how much we get from the hay now. Don't worry, I'll put that in the garbage later. Hey buds, you have to move. We want to get out and you guys need to stay in. Come on. Come on buds. This is one problem, they're so tame, it's hard to get them moving. Come on, come on. Oh, 
worked easier this time. Okay, so my dad is getting some straw off that bale because we're getting some of that straw into Willow's pen over there because she needs some. In order to do that, we have to take some off of there and go all the way around until we get to that gate over there because that's the only way that's going to work. So I'm just waiting to let my dad out and then close this gate properly. And then I have to run over to the other gate and open it for him. Time to see if I can close this gate with one hand. First I need to put this top metal bar through. Got it. That thing stays up there. Then we get the chain around. Ugh, complicated gate. And we did it. Okay, on to the next gate. Let's see if we can make it. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want her getting out. Woo! She didn't get out. Nailed it. Your salt block's not supposed to be down there, girl. Ah, oh, you're not supposed to eat your straw, girl. That's your bed. Your food's over there. For some reason, she likes to eat too. her straw. Now she has a crazy hairdo. It's actually quite fun being the gate opener. All you have to do is open and close and make sure the animals don't escape. Because that would be bad. We need the bucking bronco. Yeah. I blame her excitement and hot temper on her Arabian side. Yeah. Oh, look, she's going to do my job for me. Thank you, girl. Yeah, just spread it nicely down, evenly. That would be very nice. Thanks. Okay, she's got this. Looks like my job here is done. Just need to finish off the hay bale. And then we are good to go. Before I finish off with the hay bale, I'm actually going to spread this out because, you know, I'll help these buds out. And it's bigger. The other pile is fine. Willow can easily spread it herself, but this pile is a little more big. So let's have some fun. Okay, we'll let the steers do the rest. Well, we'll let them have fun. And now we shall continue on our other job. Okay, so we finished taking all this twine off. It was a lot. I felt like it was basically double wrapped. But yeah, this is the straws. And then this is the hay bales. Um, obviously, some straw and hay got stuck in it. But yeah, basically what this twine does is it keeps the bale together so it does not fall apart. So you take it off, obviously, when you give it to your animals because you do not want them chewing on this. And yeah, I'll just throw these away because there's not much you can do with it. So yeah. That job is all complete. Moving on to the next thing. Thank you everyone so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun. It was definitely a nice day because I am warm now. And yeah, that's one of the more enjoyable jobs. I like working with animals. So if I get the job with the animals, I'm pretty happy. So I would say that was a success. See y'all next time and have a great day.